morning YouTube this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos Nigeria so it's early morning and I'm running a capacity test on my Nissan Leaf lithium-ion batteries yesterday I added the balances as you could see I have the balances added in and last when I woke up this morning he said I pulled about 50 amp hours out of the batteries and I was down to I think um, that is somewhat percent so this morning I've put the AC on, I've added an additional refrigerator, so I have two refrigerators, one freezer, an AC and lights, and I'm using that as my load to discharge. Let me see if you can see that. So, right now it says I'm pulling 17 amps out of the batteries, that's this morning at about a little after 8 a.m. I've turned the PV off, so you see I'm pulling 900 and, well it's fluctuating, it's been 915 watts out of these batteries and I'm going to run this till the battery till the inverter stops the inverter is going to stop when the batteries hit 48 volts actually yeah 48 volts 47.5 volts, volts I think that's what I said the cutoff to so let's look at our inverter to see what we're pulling out to see the batteries at 53 point somewhat volts let it focus and we are pulling I turned the PV off the reason I've turned the PV off is so, as you can see, we're pulling 17 amps out and the load is 850 while well, it's fluctuating because of that fridge there. And I have um, turned the PV off. The reason I turned the PV off is so we can get a fair idea of how much capacity we really have in these batteries. So as of now, it says since last night I have pulled 52.7 amp hours out of the batteries and my voltage is still at 53.5 volts. Um, I'm, I was told that these batteries are between 44 and 47 amp hours so I have a total if you add the two it's 80, either 88 or a little under 90 amp hours here. If I've pulled out 50 somewhat, if I've pulled out 52 amp hours, I should have another 30, 30 amp hours to go, or 36 amp hours to go. So let's see if that is correct. So today we'll find out what the true capacity is, or the inverter will shut up before we get to what the true capacity is. So right now we're pulling a thousand watts, well, it's only a thousand watts, and our voltage is holding steady. I'm pretty psyched because yesterday I charged these batteries almost fully for the first time. So this got into 4.20 per cell and this one was at 411 per cell. So I was told the balance charge at 411 per cell is what will give me optimum capacity. So I did that yesterday. Um, these balances are the, as they discharge are all holding, all the cells are pretty similar voltage wise. I'm not seeing the red lights come on, so that could be a good sign or a bad sign. They're definitely making the humming sounds, which is well, which tells me that something is going on. On Monday, I'll add the BMS. All the BMS will do is shut it off when any shut off charging when any cell goes past 420, 4.25. My threshold is 420, but 425 is still relatively safe. So, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. Well, let me rephrase that. I'll come back later when in an hour when I think I've pulled um, the capacity out and I'll let you know what you know I'll let you know where we are we're still maintaining 53 volts so we have um, we have all the way to 48 volts to go be back soon hello YouTube as you can see the red lights on the balances are on so as we're discharging the batteries you can see some have the red lights on, some don't. So we definitely have issues with these cells and we definitely need to have a balance on them. So what it's doing now is it's transferring from these that seem to be higher into these that are lower. When we were doing the charge yesterday, this charged faster, this was taking a longer time to charge. So it's possible that we didn't put as much capacity into these batteries as we put into this. And now as we discharge it, you could see that manifesting in the balance is trying to equalize, um, equalize the well, equalize the cells. So these are in the 3.3, 3.4 range, and these are in the 3.5, 3.6 range. 
we are maintaining total system voltage of about, let me see, we are still pulling, we are putting 1.1 kilowatts out, let me see if you can see that, yeah I can, and we have pulled 75.4 amp hours out, and our battery voltage is at 49, so this is where the battery is just going, it's just going to start dropping really quick. I'm hoping we can pull 80 amp hours out of these batteries. So we have 4.6 amp hours more to go before we hit 48. We can theoretically push, pull these batteries down to I think 42 or 43, but we're not going to do that to the 3 and 4, 12. Yeah, we can pull it down to 42, but we're not going to do that today. We're going to pull it down to 80 amp hours or 48 volts and see what capacity we really have in these batteries. Hello YouTube. So we went out at 76.8 amp hours so is so that's a little short of the 80 amp hour capacity we programmed into the system um, but of course we set our cut off at 48 instead of 42 volts if we had set down to 42 volts I'm sure we would have pulled the full 80 amp hours out so it's pretty impressive um, it's much less than the original capacity that was sold on the Nissan Leaf batteries themselves but it's substantially it's pretty good Compared to, comparatively, uh, part of the reason why is because you have these cells that didn't charge properly. We're hoping that over a couple of cycles of charging and discharging them, we would recover, um, we would at least recover some capacity on the on the cells on this side. So we'll look through our installation to find out why we have more capacity here than we have here. It could be something we did wrong. We'll revisit. We'll look at the bus bars. And then hopefully in time, we'll be able to get the capacity we need from these batteries. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up if you have any suggestions or if you have any experiences that could help mitigate some of the issues that I just pointed out. Uh, let us know in the comments below. I'll be very happy to try them. Thanks again for watching. As you can see, my inverter has shut down. No lights because the battery voltage hit 48 and it powered itself down. Our charge controllers are still off. Our 48.4 volts, input is zero, and this is still blinking. Thank you.